Okay, so somebody who owns a petrol station wants to know the probability of these five scenarios happening at their petrol station because they want to know how many people to have on duty at the tills and also with this last one they want to know if there's more than eight cars because they have eight uh, places for filling fuel. So if there's more than eight cars arrive, they're going to have a queue and they don't really want a queue. So what's the probability of all these five things happening? Now, between 11 o'clock and 11.45 is a typical um, example of what happens during the day at this petrol garage. And during that time, 36 cars arrive. So during a five minute period, they want to know what happens here because that's the average time it takes for someone to fill up and get out. So that's why they're interested in this. So what's the probability of these happening? Well, first of all, we need to assume a few things. So first of all, are the cars arriving all independent of each other? So we need independence first. So each instant is independent. So let's just write that down first. Okay. The next one the thing we need to know is, is what kind of data are we dealing with? So this here is going to be whole numbers. There's going to be no fractions. You can't have 36 and a half cars or two and a half cars or whatever. So this is what's called discrete data. So it's going to be whole numbers. And also we need to know is what range of numbers can we have? Well, if during a particular time, let's say this five minute period, we could have anything from zero cars arrive, so we can't have a minus number. So zero could be the arrival. And how many can arrive? Well, we don't know. It could be a crazy day and there could be hundreds arrive. We don't know. So technically we could write up to infinity. It's technically possible. So our N, so our, let's just write that here, N, can be anywhere in that range, that N being our number of uh, cars arriving. Okay, so next thing we need to do is we need to find a PDF, so a function to work out our data. So the PDF for this is with these things in mind, that's gonna be a Poisson distribution. So that's gonna be Poisson. And there's a parameter of that so with this, we need a flow rate. So our parameter is going to be the Greek letter mu. So you could use all the letters if you like, but this is the one we're going to use today. So we need to work out a flow rate. So what is that flow rate that we can work out? Well, 11 o'clock to 11.45. So it's 45 minute period. And there is 36 cars. Okay, that's great. Now, in a five minute period, that's going to be one ninth of that. So 36, sorry, 45 divided by five, that's going to give us nine. So there, in a five minute period here, we've got one ninth of this period here for the 36 cars. So therefore, our mu is going to be 36 over nine. So mu equals 36 over 9, so that gives us our parameter, which is going to be 4. Okay, so now the PDF of that Poisson distribution, that's going to be e to the minus mu, and then we use that mu again to the power of n, so that's the number that we're interested in, and then divide that by n factorial. Okay. So that's going to be our calculation formula for this video. That's what we're going to be really interested in. OK, now let's work out some of the numbers. So in a five minute period, no cars arrive. So I like to write X for my probabilities. So the probability that X equals zero. You could also have N because that's also our number. So you could have the probability that N equals zero if you like. But I'm going to use X just because that's, that's just a, a number, a, a lettering I'm quite comfortable with. But you could use N if you like. So now we need to substitute the numbers 
in these for this formula. So probability that there's no cars arrive is e to the minus four, and then mu, which is four again. Now n here is our x, so as I like the x, I'm going to change this to an x, so you can see how that works. So that's going to be an x, and then divide that by x factorial, which is zero factorial, and of course don't forget to raise it to the x, which is zero. So now this is just going to leave us with four to the zero is one, that's a one, so they cancel out, so we've got e to the minus four. So I'm going to plug that into the calculator, e to the minus four, That's approximately four decimal places, 0 0.0183. So that's approximately 0 0.0183. So that's pretty unlikely scenario for this particular petrol station. Okay, now let's look at the next question. The probability more than three cars arrive. So I'm gonna take this calcul these calculations off. Now we're going to move on to the next one. So more than three cars arrive. So it's a probability that X is greater than three. Okay, so how are we going to work out probability that X is greater than three? Well, to do that, we need to add up probability of X equals four plus probability x equals five, plus probability x equals six, and so on. That's going to be way too long-winded. So there's another way we can go about that, and we can do the inverse. What's the probability of less than or equal to three? And one minus that will give us our solution. So that will give us then mod one minus probability x equals zero, plus probability x equals 1, plus probability x equals 2, plus probability x equals 3. So if we can work out these probabilities, then we'll have our probability for x is going to be more than 3. So more than 3 cars arrive. So let's see if we can work that out. So 1 minus, now we need to sum all these together. So x equals 0, we've already got this one. So no cars arrive. So that's 0 0.0183. Now we want the probability x equals 1. Now I've re uh, calculated some of these already. So you can check these for yourself as well and put comment in below if I've made a mistake or not. So the probability that x equals 1 is 0 0.0733. And these are approximate to four decimal places. So there may be a rounding error in here, so we'd have to be careful with that. But as we're going to four decimal places, it's still going to be really accurate. So x equals two. So I've got that one in at 0.1465. And for x equals three, I've got that one in at 0.1954. Okay, now let's add these up. So one minus the so total of all of these. So let's just do this quickly in the calculator. 733 plus 1465 plus 1954. Okay, so that's one minus 0.4335. So then this is gonna give us 0.566. Five. So that's the more than three cars arrive. That seems to be quite likely. That's more than 50% chance. So it's a 56.65% chance. So that's approximately 0.5665. And let's write this down to the nearest percentage. 57% chance that happens. This one here is approximately a 2% chance it happens. So that's unlikely. This one looks quite likely. Okay, now only one car arrives. Now we can get to this one pretty quickly. So for one car arriving, we just want the probability x equals one. Now we got this one here already, 
and that's this number here. So that's 0 0.0733. So we've got some calculations here already done. So let's put that one straight in. So that's approximately 0 0.0733, which is around about a 7% chance. So it's still not very likely, but more likely than zero cars. Okay, now we want less than four cars arrive. So let's see if we can work that one out. So, for less than four cars, we're looking for the probability, notice I've kept these numbers up here because we might need these. So the probability that X is less than four. So that equals the probability of X equals zero plus probability X equals one plus probability X equals two plus probability X equals three. And that one, we have this one here in some sort of fashion. We've got the number in here. So X equals zero, one, two, three. 0, 1, 2, 3. This time we're not subtracting it from 1. So our answer is 0. 0.4335. So this one is looking quite likely to happen during the day. So that's 0. 0.4335. Now that's going to take us to 43% to the nearest percentage. So again, that's pretty close. Okay. Now, for more than eight cars, so let's just take this one in. This is going to have a lot of complica uh, a lot of calculations in it, so let's just go through it. So for more than eight cars, so again, for this one, we want probability X is greater than or equal to nine. That could be one way of writing it, which is probability X is greater than eight. It's also the same because it's discrete data. If it's larger than eight, it's got to be nine. So again, as I showed before, this one is the probability of X equals nine plus probability X equals 10 plus probability X equals 11. Da, 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 da. Again, this is too long winded. You'd be there forever going up to infinity. Obviously, when you get to probability X equals 20, the numbers get really small and start making little effect on your calculation. So what we can do is we'll write the probability that X is more than eight. That equals one minus probability X equals zero plus probability X equals one. And then plus all the probabilities all the way on and on. And then eventually you get to probability x equals 7 plus probability x equals 8. Okay, so now I've got a calculation here already. I've got less than four cars arrive, so I've got 0 to 3 already worked out in this formula. So I've got 1 minus from 0 to 3. So that comes to 4335. And then I'll need add on to that probability x equals 4 plus probability x equals five, plus probability x equals six, plus probability x equals seven, plus probability x equals eight. Okay, so I've already worked some of these out already in the calculator, so now I'm just gonna add these on. You can check these for yourself. If I've made a mistake, put a comment down below. So let's just, one minus, so, 0.4335, so probability x equals 4, I've got that down as 0.1954. x equals 5, I've got 0.1563. x equals 6, I've got 0.1042. x equals 7, I've got 0 0.0595. So you can see now, sorry, that's an 0595. So you can see now these probabilities are getting less and less likely. And then the probability x equals eight. So again, this one here, less than a 3% chance. 
So it's almost the same as no cars arrive for when you get in more than eight. Uh, so for when you get in exactly eight. Okay, let's add these up. So I've now got four three three five plus one nine five four plus one five six three plus one oh four two plus point oh five nine five and oh two nine eight. Okay, so now that comes to one minus zero point nine seven eight seven. So now you can see this is quite unlikely. So that becomes 0 0.0213. So less than a 2% chance. So more than eight cars arrive. We've got 0 0.0213, which gives us approximately a 2% chance. So roughly once in every 50 time periods, we will get more than eight cars arrive, i.e. there'll be a queue at the petrol garage. So that's our probabilities there. So I've got another example where we worked on something else with probability di uh, distributions. Uh, um, the last video I did, you can have a look at that. That's very similar, that concentrates more on the calculations. Okay.